we're having regrets. I really thought it was gonna be okay. Can you do it, Tommy? Oh my god! They told us that we would feel this way. Walk this way. Up the trail! The only thing that we've been waiting on is... What's up fam, good morning. So before we moved into our new house, okay, this house was completely different. We gutted the entire thing. We put new floors in, a new kitchen and new countertops. The island was different. Like everything about this house was different when we originally bought the house. Before we moved in, before we showed the kids, everything you see here is pretty much how it was. It was just different cabinetry, a different oven, a different stove. The island was actually significantly bigger than this one, but just being completely transparent with you guys to save money, we decided to go with the smaller island. And if we have one regret about this kitchen, it is is making that choice. I just, I really thought it was gonna be okay, you guys. Since we moved in, if you just kinda take a look here, ignore this bench, but this, oh my gosh, this is a mess in and of itself. I ordered new couches. This whole space is gonna be completely different, hopefully like a month-ish from now, cause we're changing all this out, but we're still gonna have a couch here. It's just gonna be a different couch, but even with that, it's just a lot of empty space here. The counter originally came out to like, I don't know, like there, and it was rounded. Like it was just, it was a very different look. We've sat on it for several months now, and we decided we wanna change it out. We wanna just make it more similar to how it was when we bought the house. But the issue is that, and this is also one of the other reasons that we went with this size countertop. The other issue with it is that these are prefab countertops, which this is so confusing. So I'm not gonna bore you with all the details of this, but there's different kinds of countertops I've learned. And this exact countertop does not come any bigger. So if we wanted it bigger to begin with, we would either have a seam down the middle, have two pieces together, or the other option would be getting a completely different countertop altogether. <sighs> just like little renovation issues that we ran into. Anyway, we've decided we're gonna to change it out. <laughs> We're gonna make this a little bit different. We've just ran into so many issues with this countertop. Our sink also leaks down the side of this, which is an issue with, I don't even know, honestly, but this whole kitchen island has been a nightmare. So we went back and forth on this, sat on the decision for a long time, and we ultimately decided that we wanna change it out. Similar to the style that it was when we initially bought the house. But now, in order for this to happen, in order for us to make it bigger, we have to go with a completely different piece altogether. So we're currently in the process of trying to find a slab that is going to match the rest of the countertops. Our other option would be finding a piece that like purposely doesn't match it, but I just, I really don't want that. I really wanna try to find one that looks similar. I might regret this, I don't know. So we're gonna go look at a few pieces that are very similar. We have to drive to a few different like countertop locations. We've seen a few pictures of some that look very, very similar, but we obviously don't wanna make that choice without seeing it in person. So we're on a mission today. Gosh, while the kids are in school. This is the piece. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it looks dirty. It looks dirty. And I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Really? I would rather go with. But that doesn't match the rest of our kitchen. No. I know, but these ones have, these ones have like lighter than me. I think it matches good. Are you serious? Yeah. Chris, there's nothing about that that matches. Look at this. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't match at all. Okay, this is the one that our contractor said looked similar, and it does but we really don't like it. Does that mean we don't like our kitchen? <laughs> we messed like it up. It was such a quick process. Like we went so fast. We're having regrets. We should have slowed down. What can you do? We were just trying to get in the house fast. We're gonna check one other store and then this is the other option. It's going with something completely different. <sighs> These are natural rock. They're probably balls expensive too. This is option number two. This is hard. I don't know. Let's just say screw it and leave what we have. The more I'm looking at it, the more I like this one more. I don't know how much it actually matches what we have, but I like this one better than that last one. If we're gonna do this, I think that's the one. I really wish we would have just done it from the beginning like they told us to. They told us that we would feel this way. All right, we are back home and we have made some pretty big steps in our construction progress. If you're new here, we are currently, sorry, it just got so windy out of nowhere, but we are about to start the biggest project that we've ever done in our entire life. <laughs> which is this right here. We're about to turn this bad boy into a house. The permits are approved. The only thing that we've been waiting on is 
this. <laughs> Let me explain. This is just what it looks like. Does it look like a storage container? If you don't know, this is a storage container. You typically see these things on the back of a really big semi truck. And we now officially are owners of one. Come inside, you want a house tour? This, we completely changed our minds and we decided we're just gonna move out here. I'm just I'm, kidding. At least we get the high ceilings. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this is what's actually happening. As one could assume, since we are turning our one and only garage into a three bedroom, two bath, basically house. We do still need a garage. And this was, this was had, this actually came as an afterthought to us. It wasn't until we were talking about the project that we were like, wait a minute. So like, where does the stuff in our garage go? This is where the stuff is gonna go. But only temporarily, okay? We're not keeping this forever. We are gonna be building an actual garage that's gonna go right here, right there. I think this particular unit was holding cars. Yeah, it looks like it, spoil mark. They painted the inside for us too, so I haven't even scratched the surface of how complicated of a project this whole thing has become. We definitely didn't think it was gonna be this complicated, but there has been a lot of behind the scenes things, obviously, like when you do something crazy to your house. I, I guess I just didn't realize how much it took to do. So I'm so happy that we're about, about to find, you think like the start of construction would be the start of the project? No, like now we're like in the final stretch, finally, like starting the project, who would have thought that that was the final stretch? But that is the case, this 1200 square foot garage is soon gonna be a house in the next few months. After that, or maybe during the process, it kind of depends on a few other things, but we're gonna be building a garage here, so it's basically gonna be replace this one, but it's gonna be a smaller garage. We just don't need a 1200 square foot garage. I can already see it now, people being like, why are you building another garage? Why wouldn't we just build a separate living space to begin with and avoid all that? I know, I know. We went back and forth a lot, and honestly, it, what it came down to was just that we needed these rooms as fast as possible, and a standing structure is gonna go up way quicker in every way between the architectural drawings and the permitting and then the construction itself, it would be way quicker to just turn what we have as an existing structure into that space plus it's closer to the house, which I do like. So we did go back and forth on that as well. Trust me, we went back and forth on every potential option in the entire world. So this is now what's happening because we've got approval now, okay? That's turning into a house. We're gonna be building a garage right here and this is gonna be the temporary space that all of our stuff that's currently in the garage is going to stay. Luckily for us, there's not a whole lot that we need to have stored but it will probably take up this whole container, but this container is, I mean, it is big, it's big, but it's not as big as our 1200 square foot garage, but this should work, hopefully. Hopefully this works. The outside of it isn't the most gorgeous thing in the world though, so we are planning on painting it in an ideal world. We would like to, you know, we could sell it when we're done with it, but we honestly might just keep it. People do a lot of really fun projects with storage containers these days, but I think we're gonna paint it the color of our house and then maybe just keep it, maybe relocate it after the fact, but as it stands, it is technically a temporary thing for us. That is huge though, because we cannot physically start this project until everything that's in there is out, right? Naturally. And as of last night, we officially have it. It took about two weeks to get here, so that pushed us back a little bit. But they rolled it onto our property last night, which is a sight in and of itself to see this thing coming down your driveway. To be. But there's actually a lot of fun projects that, you, that people do with storage containers these days, so I'm kind of excited. I've never owned a storage container before. It's just what I would have expected. <laughs> so now that it's here, the ball is back in our court and we need to move everything out of the garage into here. So we're gonna be starting that, oh gosh, I don't know, maybe this weekend. Once everything's out and construction starts rolling, then things will probably start picking up quicker. By quicker, I mean it'll probably still be a few months out, but gosh, I feel like I could finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. There was a point here where I was just like, I don't even know this is gonna work. Like, I feel like it's not even, it was just, it was so complicated. <laughs> How was your Friday? Good. It was good. Good. Just a little good. Oh. Just been the just good. Kids are home from school. Eating some snacks. Can I stay home alone? No. No, we're gonna go support Kaden. But this is what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about the counter. Can you guys see this? See this water? This is what happens when you just use the sink at all. If even a drop of water gets right there, it starts dripping down the entire countertop without fail. Every single time. So that problem needs to be addressed no matter what, but we're pretty sure that we found the countertop that we want today to replace this whole thing. It's gonna bring the whole thing out about 10-ish inches, and then we're also gonna waterfall the sides of it so we don't have like all this exposed right here for two reasons. One, I feel like it looks nice. We do have that over here. So it'll be exactly like this, but also the weight of this countertop is so much that we're pretty sure that one of the reasons it drips like this is because of the weight of this table. And so it would actually offer support on the sides here to be able to hold up the whole piece of rock. And oh my gosh, I forgot to update you guys. 
the wall is finished. Do you guys see this? I feel like I don't really show this angle too often, so it might be hard to kind of envision, but this arch was exactly the same on the other side right here, and now it's a wall. Completely closed off wall, and if you run, walk this way, we have a bedroom, a full bedroom. We got the lights right here. This is definitely gonna come out. This was like the center of, this was the dining room before, obviously. That's gotta go. But this room is officially finished. Ah! I finished, I mean ready to get started. Oh my gosh, I feel like my vlog is so echoey today between the storage container and here. This room is officially finished, and therefore I'm able to officially start it for what it's going to turn into. If you missed the last few videos, we did decide to turn our dining room into one of our kids' bedrooms. It was just a space that was not getting utilized to the best of its ability, and we had an epiphany that it was a very simple way to be able to provide more space for our kids, like more private space for our kids, as in giving them each of their own bedrooms. So, it's done. I can't believe it. We have a room. So also for the hallway over here, oh my gosh, it's so epic. But that now means that our hallway is no longer opened up right here either. There was a huge arch right here, just like this one that's on this side over here. And now it's closed off and we've got a door that leads into bedroom number five in our home. That was probably the simplest project that we have taken on in our home yet and did a lot. Pele! These are blue contact lenses for Lilia's Halloween costume, for her Disney costume, her Disney Halloween costume. Why should get them too? Get some blue contacts? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. If we could just get you some blue contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. They're part of her costume. You'll have to see. You'll have to wait and see what that's gonna be. But are you ready? Anyone in there? <laughs> <laughs> can you raise an eyebrow? How? No, she can't. She can't do it. Yeah, she can't. She's doing it. No. She just has my eyebrows. It's just so blonde. You can't see it. Yeah, exactly. She's like her mom. She just did it again. She can do it. Can you do it? Let me see. Oh my God. Can you do it, Tommy? Oh! <laughs> The same side. Wait, do you guys all do the same side? Wait, which side is yours? Let me see what side is yours. Let me see. Your left side. Let me see yours. Let me see. Let me see the other one. Oh. Oh yeah, I think she actually can do both. Let me see your Sammy. Oh! <laughs> it's a Scooby thing. Oh, I don't have it. I can't do that. I can just close my eye. Can you, Lilia? I feel like I could almost do it. Probably not. Let me see, try it. <laughs> Look at me. I feel like I'm just closing my eye. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. There we go. I feel like I could almost do it. I can't believe all three of you guys can do that. I'm jealous. Kaden has a soccer game after school today, which typically they don't tend to have soccer games on Fridays, but they do this Friday. And they actually have another one coming up in a few Fridays. So that means that this weekend we have soccer Friday, sa soccer games, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which means that this week in particular, we have had soccer Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we're gonna go back to Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and then Saturday. Well, that's a lot of days of soccer in a row. <laughs> okay, get up. This is so bad in here. Oh my God. I can't wait for you guys to get your own rooms. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. And Caden's in the goal today. Oh, I almost dropped you. He's subbing for the goalie this week. I don't think I've actually said that officially, but Caden, a few months ago, he decided that he does not want to be goalie anymore, which everyone was really bummed about because he's incredibly talented in the goal. So he's been practicing really hard on the field to be a field player, but occasionally when they need him, they beg him to be be in the goal and today's one of those days which he doesn't hate it he just really really wants to be a field player and gotta follow your heart you know even if it means giving up something that you're really really talented at but okay let's go guys we gotta load up <laughs> Adeline. we're loading up our family to go to a soccer game and Moni was just sitting on the <laughs> he was just sitting right here waiting to come with us you want to come to the soccer game that was the funniest thing ever oh my god sorry not this time dude there we go Kitty forgot to put his headband on and it's so windy. And his brother was like, oh, I'm gonna go get it for him. Like, how cute. <laughs> that was so cute. Kyson gets it. He's like, he cannot have the hair in his face. Kaden just like threw it on. <laughs> that, like, Thank you, Kyson. That was very nice of you. He needed that. Thank you so much. Is it the right one? It said Temple Tate. Whatever's in there is fine. That's not his game one, but anything is better than nothing because it's windy. <gasps> oh. That's okay, Kaden. Game is 2 1. We're losing. Let's see how it goes. Good job, Kaden! Score is now 3 to 2. We're winning. Oh, it didn't go in? Good 
job, Caden. Oh, that was incredible. Stop. I'm sad I missed that one. He still got it. They all celebrated like he. Woo! Good job, boys. Good job, dude. Good job. You guys proud of you. You did so good. Final score, 4-2. They won. High five. Two gold bad taste. Now look at that sunset. Holy moly macaroni and cheese sauce. We're letting kids into the trunk. Everyone always thinks, we're not by the way. In the there's, back. There's two. <laughs> Oh, look at that, so beautiful. I feel like we got really caught up on some of the house projects in this video. And hopefully it's all kind of making sense. We just have so much going on right now. And we haven't even started, we have so much more. I'm so excited though, I love doing all these house projects. But that is it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and stay tuned for our next video. Bye, guys.